Well, hello. What up? I'm Mags. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. Thanks for stopping by my channel. We're doing a generalized reading today for March. Uh, I'm using three different decks. I'm going to be using the Morning Start deck, the uh, Dancing in the Dark Tarot, and the Spirit Oracle. I've already done half of the signs. The remaining are in this little trinket here. Well, let's go ahead and draw, see who's next. What do we have coming up? Next sign up, please. Drum roll. Sagittarius. What up, love? How you doing, honey? Hope you've had a good day so far. It's bright and early here. I'm still getting my day started. Okay, so before we get started here, Sagittarius, a couple of things. I have had very heavy channelings to be using uh, fluorite today. So I went and grabbed this off my desk. I really look up the meaning of fluorite, what all it stands for. Maybe go get you a piece of fluorite. If you do not, it's a great crystal. It's also a beautiful color of green. It's one of my favorite colors. So there's that. I also had a heavy channeling of a Honda Odyssey. I don't really understand where that came from, considering that uh, I don't know anyone that has that car, but you might. The word Odyssey might be the, the whole point of that channeling, by the way. So you may want to look at the definition of Odyssey. Uh... I'm hearing the Holly's Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress song. I'm hearing the opening guitar riff. Okay. So Sagittarius, number one, you're dancing a lot. Um in this next couple in this next week. I feel like you're dancing a lot or you're listening to music a lot. Or there's like, um, you might be in a band or playing percussion or I don't know. There's like a, a real bouncy, light energy. It's, it's very musical to me. It reminds me of notes bouncing. Like when I, so I used to learn how to read music back when I was in college or uh, high school. I was in choir and, and very much into music. And I was learning how to read uh, notes on paper and then play on the piano. And I just remember that how, how my teacher would describe the notes as they would bounce, okay? And it, it was just such a symphony of flow, right? I'm not quite sure why I'm having this come up before we've even thrown cards, but there may be something there. This may be something about you. Uh, <laughs> this is an area of contention. So we're talking about the flow, number five, okay? Um, a few things here. I'm looking at this backwards on my camera. So the first thing I'm drawn to, this is a five. I also see a letter T. Backwards, I see a letter J. Else, seeing anything else it kind of looks like a sickle right like that you use for forming something interesting about that okay so area of contention we're talking about the flow the uh i'm not watching a garbage truck empty a bin so yeah so this is basically like there was a uh, plug think of like a blood vessel when it gets clogged okay same idea here energetically you were not in flow Sagittarius okay so that's something that you're coming out of that was a former area of contention I'm not seeing that be the case anymore you're coming out of that strife I'm telling you because that yeah see and that came out under and ruin I can't make it up y'all look it was like there was so much going on in your head um whatever you just really came out of energetically rocked you Sagittarius okay something was ruined in the process possibly or you feel something was ruined in the process we got two fives which is 10 10 I'm now seeing um like old temple ruins like Azteca yeah and then you're headed immediately into success so okay so this clearly was a karmic matter or situation that happened yeah i can't make it up justice and the high priestess with success so clearly the scales needed balance energetically we'll go a little bit deeper in on that but this energy right here i want to focus on this because whatever happened here your intuition rose like crazy afterwards like crazy I'm also noticing in the artwork, she actually looks like a spider in this with her hair. Oh, and that reminds me of this scene in this um, 
this is one of my favorite new artists. It's uh, Sudan Archives. And the song is called Nant for Sale. And it's N-O-N-T, Nant for Sale, okay? In that scene, or in that video, there's a scene where her and her girls are in a, in a quickie mart or something like that. And she's got these really long, beautiful braids. And they're holding the braids from behind the camera. And she's like walking towards the camera looking at them. That kind of reminds me of this artwork. Go listen to that video. Again, it's Sudan Archives, Nant for Sale, Sagittarius. And you know what's really interesting? That song and that energy is Sagittarius energy all freaking day. Oh, you'll know, you'll know. There's a huge correlation with that. Okay, so... I'm getting heavy like international travel and stuff coming off of this. I just talked about Azteca, like like um, temple ruins. I'm now talking about Sudan archives, which if I believe she's from South Africa. So there's global energy here. Tell me more. Why, why am I feeling that? Because that's the power of love. That's why. Damn. Sag, are you in love? Are you in love, Sagittarius? Tell us more. Tell us more. Thank you. Sagittarius is in love and thinks they found their person. That's what you keep asking yourself, right? Sagittarius, your journey in love has been... Uh, one for the books, hasn't it? Ooh. Let's just take it down about five notches. I can drink a coffee here. Sagittarius, you're getting everything you needed blessings wise with regards to your career and your money and your finances. That's why love is now. Yeah. That's why love is here now current energies. That's why love is here now is because you've already focused on your career and your finances. So now there's room for love to come in. I can't make it up. You're in a very loving, nurturing mood. You want to love unconditionally and you want to love hard, right? Sag, I've never known a Sag that didn't. Okay. I love the lotus flower on this as well, right in front of her. And then underneath that we have accomplishment. Yeah. See, this is Sag the Sagittarians that I am connecting with right now, whether or not you are with this person, either you're married, in a relationship, separated, dating, just met, whatever. I am talking to a Sagittarius that feels they have found their person. That's where this areas of strife and contention is coming from. This has been an inner battle. Uh, and now that things are flowing correctly with your career, love can now come to the forefront. And what I am seeing here is this is not just about you feeling this way. This is spirit saying you have found your partner. Spirit's not going to tell you that you've reached completion. And at that, it was an accomplishment. If that's not the right divine person for you, right? My cards don't lie. And more importantly, this deck doesn't lie. This deck is one of the most honest decks I've ever had in my life. Tell me more. Don't believe me. Let's go deeper. In fact, give me two more on that. Can't make it up. Strength, Leo energy. Okay, look at the snake. Transformation, life and death, rebirth, love bitten, love smitten, right? And you've had to be very strong throughout this process because let me tell you something, Sag. If your love life is anything like how I'm feeling, it's been a journey, okay? It's very, very, very difficult for you to trust. Princess of Wands, there you are, rising like a phoenix from the ashes. Delusion was in the reverse. And then we have the world. Again, another snake. Look at this. Look at this. I'm now hearing, um, <laughs> all around the world, same song. The Humpty. Do the Humpty Dance. Oh, God. <laughs> Why am I hearing that song right now? Oh, that dude is, oh, I haven't heard a song from him in forever. That's hilarious. Again, lots of music with you, Sag. I've had, I've not had this many music channelings and a reading in a long, long time. So I really want you to focus on the whole music piece of this reading because that is so therapeutic for you. 
I feel like you almost could be a music therapist or you could do something like that on the side or there's something about the music you post or that you send people or something, it heals them. And, and more importantly, the music that you allow yourself to listen to is only to heal you. You, would, you are very, I'm, I'm connected with Sagittarians that are very specific about the music they listen to because they know how much that can affect your mood. So kudos to you because that's a very mature thing, okay, Sagittarius. Now I want to go back to this area as a contention and strife and ruin. What did we just have to flip? Yeah, Emperor, okay? This was feeling, um, okay, bottom of the deck here, Fox. So divine. Yeah, there it is, death. So, and there's a star for healing. <clears throat> Sagittarius, I'm just going to have to put this out there, and, and this might get some unfollows, and I really don't care. I'm a Sag myself. I call it how it is. Sagittarius, I'm dealing with a Sagittarian that was such a control freak, you lost complete control, you had a death of ego, the transformation has been insane, there is no more strife and ruin, but you had to go through that to get you to budge and change out of this unwavering, know-it-all energy. And what's really cool is, as difficult as it was for you, Source, God, Spirit, were here the whole time, 11-11 right when I held that up, by the way. They have never left your side. And for an emperor or that energy to go through a death of ego, man. Ooh. My hands are starting to shake. I just saw somebody collapse to their knees from behind. It looked like a man. He's putting his head in his hands and he's crying. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know if you heard that or not. I just popped both my shoulders, so there's a correlation with that. Okay, I'm getting real antsy here. <sighs> my whole face just got really red. I'm shaky. What is this energy? What is this energy? Ace of Wands, Magician, Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. <laughs> oh. I cannot fucking make this up. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Justice and the High Priestess. Justice, justice, high priestess, high priestess. Sag, you are twice as powerful as you normally are right now when it comes to your spiritual gifts and your intuition being heightened. That is an upgrade for you. I'm hearing you're welcome. I just heard you're welcome, and I'm now hearing someone clap in the background. This is a gift from your spirit team. I don't even think you've realized it's come in yet. There may be a, someone that is a potential has Libra or Virgo heavily in their chart. This person is extremely passionate for you. This person wants to work with you, bring you a love of offer, be your partner. It's karmic justice. This can't miss you. This is meant for you. I see it. It's meant for you. No one can take what's meant for you away. Look at the lion at the top of this. I love that artwork. The lion with the wings. And he is in yellow and she's in white and gray. And I always think that's very interesting. I'm going to get a couple more on this. Tell us about this love offer coming in for Sagittarius, please. Hierophant, divinely guided. Divinely guided, divinely protected. Nine of swords in the reverse, no more anxiety. We've also got the page of swords. And we had the three of swords in the reverse. So this very well could be a reconciliation. Someone's getting out of their head. Someone else is spying heavily or watching you. 
They're trying to figure out when to come in. The divine's going to handle that part. Again, 11, five of cups in the reverse. This person um, may have made you feel left out in the cold. Yeah, there you are, Sag. There's your energy. Temperance. You've been resting, taking a step back. The amount of healing that you have had to do. Sag, I want to say kudos to you because I'm, I'm connecting with Sagittarians that have done healing they've never done before um, on a chemical level. I'm now seeing a cell split into two. Whoa, that's twins. Okay, that is heavy. <laughs> Sag, if you don't want to get pregnant, I'm telling you right now, I'm connecting with a Sag that's going to get pregnant with twins. I, there's no, no doubt in my mind on that. Yeah. Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, killing it at work. Your finances are on point. Your boss uh, is really watching you put in hard work. They like what they're seeing. And then we had the Four of uh, Pentacles under that. So uh, definitely a need to save your money at this time. You're very stable and solid with where you're at as well. So, yeah. And then um, bottom of the deck, we had Ace of Cups. Okay. So this is new love all day. Sad. You got new love headed straight for you. Yeah, no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. Three of Cups in the reverse. No more third parties. Okay. So let's get one message from the Spirit Oracle for Sagittarius. What does Spirit have to say about this? What does Spirit have to say to Sagittarius? Message for Sag, please. Sag, please. That fell out on its own. No. Message for Sag. Okay, there's one. Anything else? We got two. Three. There it is. Soulmate. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. <clears throat> I told you, Sag. You got love heads straight for you. Here's a soulmate card. Love. Partnership. Magnetic attraction between two people. Union. You discover a deeper sense of self through the relationship with another. Then we have new direction. Okay, I was feeling this. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often the angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed health, joy, and abundance. And lastly, we have responsibility, okay? It says, do what feels right for you above all else. It is impossible to please all parties in the present situation. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. Okay, Sag. So, um, wow, this is a really powerful reading. I hope it answered some questions. Please leave me some comments if it resonated below. Also, if you're interested in a private one-on-one -on -one and you want to go deeper, all the information is in the box below as well. And uh, as always, I appreciate all your likes, share, subscribes, and support. You guys have made me uh, just so happy with, with the people I've been meeting on this channel and um, the, the stories that you share with me. I love you all so much, and um, it's, it's just been an honor reading for you. So I hope you have a great rest of the week, my darling Sagittarian friends. And if this is where we part ways, you take care. All my love. Bye.